doing now. Today we are discussing how to make a Telegram bot and uh, I'll try to keep it as short as possible so that uh, it won't end up boring for you guys. So let's start. In this project we'll be using around uh, three libraries and uh, two API keys. First of all, let me let us go through these libraries which we are using. First is Wikipedia and second is Wolfram Alpha. Third one is PyTelegram bot API. I hope you have already known, of, known about Python libraries. If you don't know, you can visit my old, uh, there are many videos in my channel itself. So I guess it won't be a problem. And uh, first of all, let me explain what are we doing with these libraries, what we'll be doing. Let's go into, this is the board which you are going to create. Uh, it's somewhat like a question and answering board. Like if you ask a question, it will answer, the it will face the answer from Wikipedia and Wolfram Alpha. That's all. There is no big scene in there. It'll, you can see here itself. I created this board and uh, whenever we type something, it will give back its results from Wikipedia and uh, Wolfram Alpha. That's all. So for that, we'll be using these three libraries and we'll be using two API keys. I'll tell about that later. Okay. Here yeah, at the start, first of all, we need to find an API key from Telegram so that we can use it for this board. For that, you, you need board father. Means it is official board from Telegram, which gives you API keys for uh, creating boards and all. If you go to board father, you can invoke a command like new board. The options in that. So for, for now, I will just call it something. You can give whichever name you want. Uh, then we need a username for it. Yeah, now our board is sorted, almost prepared in Telegram. And now we, can, we should program it. I hope you have reached till now. In this, after they send this message, you will get an API key. Use this token to access the HTTP API. I don't know how many of you know about HTTP API, but this is the one we'll be using for making a board. Until now, I hope there is no problem. So let's go into the next part of it. Now for uh, answer, taking fetching answers from Wolfram Alpha, we need another API. For that, we need to create an account in Wolfram Alpha. If you sign in, then I'll show from, this is the homepage of Wolfram Alpha. As you can see, whatever you want to search, you can search here and you, get, you can get the This is the you will get these many results for now. Only our board will only fetch the first result, means the main result only it will fetch that and it will send back to the user. Yeah, as you can see, there are many results in that. Even you can fetch the whole results with these libraries, but it will be overloading for the board, so we'll be only fetching the first result. This one, so for that, uh, we need as I told already, we need an API key. To get an API key or a app ID, you should need, you need to sign in. If you don't have an account, you you can go and create an account. It won't be, it is not uh, a thing which we should include in a tutorial like this. I I hope everyone knows how to make an account and all. So after that, you go to my my app. Then you can see the API documentation, API frequently asked questions, etc. For now, we need an app ID. You can create an app ID by get an app ID option. For now, I use one, uh, which I already have. This is the API key we need, app ID. That's all we need. We have now the HTTP API token of Telegram and also the app ID from Wolfram Alpha. So let us go to the board and check whether we can do all these things. Let me explain the code once. First, we need to install all these libraries I told us already. After installing all this, we need to install import Telegram. Teleport is a part from PyTelegram bot API, Wolfram Alpha and Wikipedia. We should import all these three. And we should initialize a client using Wolfram Alpha client. And in this double quotes, we should give pass the API ID, app ID. And uh, another one is API key for the uh, HTTP API key, which we get from Telegram. That's all. Then we, we can initialize the bot, Telegram bot by uh, using this API key. But make sure that your API key is private on this. Usually, we, we, should, we will not put API key directly if you are hosting in cloud or something, we will be using something like environment variables, etc. But uh, since you are using your own local machine, I'm just basing it here. I hope if you are going to host in cloud, make sure that it is not it is not public. It should not be public. If it is public, anyone can access your bot, anyone can change anything, anyone can misuse anything. So be careful with that. And I'll be deleting my HTTP key and uh, this app ID so that you, can, you cannot use that. So first of all, let us copy the app ID from here. And uh, API key, we need, I 
this one here. Next line is this uh, initialization option of the board. After that, we need to get the messages from the Telegram board and we should send back its replace. For that, uh, we, you should go through the documentation of Telegram board. It means if you want to learn more and what all are these messages and uh, message handlers, etc., you should go with these things, means this documentation. It is more useful and uh, you can learn more about this Telegram board API. For now, I'm just teaching you how to make an chatbot like uh, from fetching answers from wikipedia and whatever alpha but if you learn this you can make anything means even if uh, if you want to convert a file type or uh, upload a uh, upload to google drive you can make anything possible so i hope there is no doubt or uh, anything until now let's go to the next one means these are the message handlers first of all we'll be using and uh, we'll be defining some reply to some commands you yeah, here I am using the commands called create. If you if you send a command called create, it will reply bot dot reply to uh, this message and uh, hey how are you? That's all. And another another message handler is for all the messages means all the questions they send. This is a lambda function. If you want to learn more, you can install for the documentation. But but uh, to be short, it will take all the messages and uh, it will find the file type. And if it is a document or something means text file or something, if you send this, if you use this one, it will reply to the message as we want means. It will take the message and uh, you can use the message text by calling message.txt. See, there are many uses to this message handlers and it's, it is pretty deep. So I cannot tell everything you want to do here. For, for now, just understand that it is taking all the messages and uh, analyzing the results to give back the reply. That's all. So for now, I'm using some try and expert uh, given so that it won't give any errors if results is not found in Wikipedia or uh, from my phone. First, it will try to fetch in process from Wikipedia and work from my phone. Then, if it not, if there is there is some error in that, it will try to fetch results only from Wikipedia. Then, it will only try to fetch results from work from my phone. So, uh, even if there is no questions, means there is no answers to all these questions in both Wikipedia and work from my phone, it will just simply say no results found. That's all. Bot dot calling is to initialize the bot and initialize the program so that it will run. Uh, it will seek the commands and messages from the bot. When whenever the HTTP key is invoked, if whenever that request is made. So currently, I hope there is no doubt or something. The, it is pre pretty forward. There is no complication in this. All these are just syntax. Uh, if you know the logic and how to make this one, you can make this one. That's it. Yes, you can see I have used the next results.result.txt. It is to face the first result. If you just give the results, it will give a big query set with many many things. Means you have seen how many how much long is that result. So you can understand. So that's it. Uh, now let us try to run this one. I'm using this as notepad. So you can use any text. So let's try to run this one. If we, we have some errors, means okay, I have started the program here. Then let us go to boat and try something. Let us try using some questions to our boat. It gave the answers uh, from Wikipedia and uh, all from Alpha. That's it. It works fine, I guess. So let's try some questions uh, which is only available in World from Alpha. This replying time depends on the speed of your system. So, but if you're using some cloud platforms like Heroku, it, you can just uh, the replace will come so fast. Yeah, as you can see, now we got the answer from Wolfram Alpha. That's all. Yeah, you have understood how to make a chatbot which gives answers from Wikipedia and Wolfram Alpha. You will uh, try to be more creative and uh, try to make more uh, answers like this. So it's bots like this. And uh, to create the bot and uh, change the profile pic and etc., you can go to edit bot. See, you can see my bots option here. So if you just uh, choose these boards, you can just edit it everything. Edit board. Another option to edit name, description about board, pick commands, etc. Try to use this uh, documentation effectively to make your own boards. That's all. I hope you understood this. And if you want to see the video which I used to host this on Heroku, you can comment below. I'll try to make a video on that one also. So that's it.